All right, I got Black Ops 6 last week and I've been playing it a lot. Now, this is mainly going to be my thoughts on multiplayer since I haven't touched the campaign or zombies yet, though I heard they are both pretty decent. Um, so this is going to be my first Call of Duty since 2013, which was Call of Duty Ghost. Before that, I bought and played almost every single Call of Duty, including the very first Call of Duty 1 and Call of Duty 2. Still, Call of Duty 2 being my absolute favorite Call of Duty of all time. Black Ops 1 and 2 were also both amazing, but I haven't played 3, 4, or Cold War, or anything after Ghosts. Now this is my multiplayer experience summarized. It's basically spawn, kill an enemy, and then die in 4 to 5 seconds, sometimes even less, and repeat. The pace of the game is very, very fast. It's the fastest COD I have ever played. I don't know if this is a new Call of Duty thing, so including all the recent Modern Warfare games, or if it's just a Black Ops 6 thing because, again, I haven't played anything since Ghost. But to me, the pace of the game is really, really quick. I think the game's biggest strength is also its biggest con, which is basically that it's a brainless game. It's just quick fun, you can get into a match after work and play a few matches and I would say overall it's been actually pretty fun but I also think it's got some issues that I'm gonna go over now I think most of the maps are really really small and the movement in this game is so fast it's definitely geared towards running and gunning and I think most of the maps and the gameplay in general is made to prevent camping Players just move so fast in this game compared to what I'm used to and basically everybody you see is sliding around and doing dolphin dives everywhere. It's kind of crazy. The Omni system I found is pretty nice and fluid. I actually like it a lot. It's just very free feeling. You can prone and look in all directions, sprint in all directions. I think it's pretty cool and I think this is something that they should implement in the future Call of Duty games. Now this also plays a big role in the pace of the game though because you can move so fast which is why the matches feel so fast paced and enemies get to you quicker and you also die quicker so again this all comes into play. Now regarding the maps I personally think the maps are horrible. I don't know if I like any of the maps maybe three or four um, and they would mostly be on hardcore which I will get into later. In previous Black Ops games, I usually love Nuketown, it's a fan favorite for a reason, but in Black Ops 6 as well as any other smaller map on core, I don't really like it that much since the pace of the game is already so quick that the smaller maps just make it even crazier and you just get spawn killed so quickly. I also think the maps are designed so that you can pretty much die from like a hundred possible directions at any point. 50% of the time I will die from someone behind me because they will either spawn there or they just ran to the other side of the map in like an instant or I will die somewhere off to the side because you're not looking at that direction. Um, you can pretty much get killed from anywhere. If I'm looking from side to side I'll get killed from above and you'll always get killed behind you so yeah you can pretty much die from anywhere at any point on any map. Now I personally think the worst part of the game is the spawns. And I don't really think this is really a strong opinion of mine since I think everybody can pretty much agree on this who has played Black Ops 6. I think these spawns are absolutely trash. A lot of the times you will get spawn killed, especially in smaller maps like Babylon, Stakeout, or Nuketown. The enemies will also spawn behind you because these spawns switch like every 30 seconds or so in these smaller maps. And these spawns are absolutely all over the place. It's insane. You also spawn directly in front of enemy fire sometimes on smaller maps like Stakeout. But yet, the spawns in this game are just really bad. Oh, there's spawns are so crazy. I just spawned. <laughs> Requesting 
The time to kill is also pretty quick in this game, and it's especially a problem because of the major inconsistencies in the hit registration. A lot of the times I've been getting 5 to 6 hit markers on somebody, and somehow they managed to survive, only to find out on their kill cam that they got hit at most 2 times. It's just very inconsistent that sometimes I will kill someone instantly the second I click the mouse, and sometimes they can take 4 to 5 shots and still survive. And I'll go through the whole clip. It's kind of really odd, and again, it makes the game not that enjoyable. Now, I did find that guns are very satisfying to shoot, and I also love the customization in this game. Compared to Ghosts and anything before that that I've played, gun customization has really come a long way. I like how I can make the guns look and perform exactly the way I would like to, kind of like how you can add a compensator and stuff and change the barrel length. It really makes customization, you know, really fun and takes it up to the next level and you can kind of make each gun feel like it has endless possibilities. I will also say that the guns seem to be pretty well balanced in this game. Even the starter weapons like the XM4 AR and the sniper, I found them to be just as good and capable as the weapons you will unlock later in the game. And personally, I think the weapon balancing is well done. What's also new to me is that there's no assists in this game. Um, they all count as eliminations or kills. Basically, if you hit someone or play a role in getting a kill and someone else kills them, you will both still get one elimination on the scoreboard. And that's probably why, even in games I feel like I'm doing horrible, I'm still somehow coming out positive. So, at least it makes me feel better about my horrible performance. Now, if I were to rate Black Ops 6 based purely just on regular core gameplay, I would maybe give it about like a 6 out of 10. What I've been actually having a blast on is playing on Hardcore, and I usually never really play Hardcore in previous Call of Duties, but Hardcore in this game has been very fun, and I've been doing a lot better in Hardcore than I do in Core mode. Now basically everything is like a one-shot death, including many of the pistols, it kind of removes the inconsistencies in the hit registration on the core mode, and I think it makes the game absolutely just brainless fun. Now, because you die even quicker, now the pace of the game is even faster here. It's absolutely insane, especially on Mosh Pit, but at this point, everything is just instant death and respawn, so in my mind, it's just kind of like mindless fun. And this is actually what I like out of my games. I usually play video games while watching YouTube videos at the same time, and I can do that while playing hardcore, since it's completely mindless, and it's actually even more chill than core, because in core I find myself actually trying a lot more, but I'm also failing just as bad. Also in hardcore, I'm not like getting killed in this mode because I shot somebody five times and on their side they didn't get hit at all. If you shoot someone in hardcore, they usually die, and it seems to be pretty spot on, so I can't really complain about the hits or the damage in hardcore mode. Now of course this mode is really crazy though, so you can basically pre-fire every room and you know you can basically kill anybody through the walls. If you camp at a doorway in like the map stakeout for example, you can just obliterate anyone that goes in your path. And I've seen some videos online where people are just holding the fire button on an MG and just walking through the whole map and getting kills that way. It's pretty insane, but again, this is all mindless fun. Still though, I found hardcore mode very fun, and I personally like it a lot more than core. Hardcore is basically the only thing I play now since I enjoy it that much. Hardcore would probably bump the multiplayer experience for me to maybe a 7.5 or an 8 out of 10. It's a lot more enjoyable, in my opinion. The games are also much faster and chaotic, so you get more points, and you also level up faster each game. I noticed like after I started playing hardcore, I started leveling up really quick. And it's also much easier to unlock weapons and unlock your weapon upgrades on hardcore because getting kills is so much easier. So I've been leveling up weapons like my pistols and a lot of my secondaries on hardcore. So that's about it. Those are my quick thoughts on Black Ops 6 multiplayer. I usually don't do uh, reviews on games, but oh well, I thought I'd just, I've been playing this game a lot this past week. I have like 30 hours so far, so uh, yeah, I just thought I'd give you my thoughts.